But first attacked on his way home from school, new at six, the random encounter that left a teen with serious injuries. And the video deputies want you to take a good look at tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. This is what that teenager looked like after four people jumped him earlier this week. New at six, ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith has video of the attack as deputies ask for help identifying the people behind it. Ryan. Jamison and Wendy, that 15 year old walking home from Gulf High School two nights ago says it just didn't feel right. He could tell he was being followed, so he took out his phone to text his mom for help. But just moments later, he's attacked. My son didn't deserve any of this. The attack lasted less than one minute, but 15 year old Jeffrey Lehman is suffering long term damage. Watching that video and knowing that I wasn't there to protect my son is horrible. He spent Wednesday night in the emergency room. He has a fractured jaw and three teeth were knocked out. That attack happening in Newport Ritchie on Overton Drive near Pinsdale Drive. Once I turned into my neighborhood, they turned with me and I seen the truck that they were in that come right past me. Surveillance cameras from several homes captured the unknown suspects, two of them riding in an older model teal pickup truck. Deputies say they stole his cell phone, backpack, and wallet. I thought that they were going to take my son or something worse was going to happen, that I was never going to be able to see my son again, and I started flipping out. His mother says she's keeping him out of school and off the streets for now. And is this message for the attackers who jumped her son? These people are worthless pieces of scum that I, I hope to God that I don't see him. I hope, I hope you guys get caught. My son did not deserve this. Now that family tonight, they believe this was truly a random attack. Tonight, the Pasco Sheriff's Office tells me that video is the best chance of tracking down the people responsible. They want you to come forward if you recognize anyone in that surveillance video. Live in Pasco County, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News. Ryan, thank you. We've got more of that video posted right now at abcactionnews.com so you can take another look at it and even share it with your friends. Wendy?